Hello wonderful people, it is Genevieve and in this video we're going to draw some watercolor Christmas ornaments in Procreate. So open up the app, create a new canvas and let's start drawing. So this tutorial is definitely short and sweet, but the result can be absolutely incredible depending on how much time you want to spend on it. But it's really just a bunch of very simple steps. The first one of which is to create a new layer that you're going to rename to Outlines. As we're not really sketching anything here because it's really simple. So select the colors you want your outlines to be. I'm just going with like straight up black as well as a nice pencil that you like. And you're just going to draw a perfect circle. And the way to do that in Procreate is you draw your circle, you hold the pencil and then you tap with a second finger. On top of your circle, you're going to draw a rounded rectangle as well as a vertical line, which is going to be the string. And you can also draw a little bow, so just two little um, oval shapes. Nothing complicated here. And you're also going to add a little bit more texture to your rounded rectangle by adding a few vertical lines. So once you have your main outlines, go ahead and create a new layer and put it below the outlines. And this one you're going to rename to Color. And go ahead and pick the color that you want your ornament to be. So I'm going with a nice bright red and I will be using the Dark Edges watercolor brush from my Ultimate Watercolor Brush Set which will be linked in the description below along with our promo code just for you guys. But you could also use regular brushes and just lower the opacity with the slider on the left. You're not going to get the same textures but it's better than nothing. So anyway, once you have your brush, go ahead and just draw this wobbly type of crescent moon shape in the bottom part of your ornament. And it's totally okay if you go outside the lines a little bit, it actually looks better in the end, so no need to be super precise on this step. Once you have that crescent moon shape, go ahead and lift your pencil and then start a new shape, but this time is going to be focusing on the outside and the bottom right part of your ornament. So make sure to pick at the video if you're a bit confused about what I just said. Um, but basically what is important here is either with the watercolor brushes or a regular brush with lower opacity, you just want to stack the colors. And you're then going to select a blending brush, so either the water blender from the watercolor brush set or just a regular um, smudge tool from Procreate. And you're just going to blend in the hard, um, hard edges that we've just created. Um, but you can also leave some of them. So what I mean is you're going to blend in the edges that are on the inside of the ornament. So kind of in the center, that little circle there, and also some of the crescent moon shape, but you're not going to blend the outside ed edges, of course. And you can repeat these two steps. So coloring blocks and then blending them as many times as you want, because that is how you're going to create your watercolor, like stacking, blending effect. Once you have a base that you like, go ahead and select a lighter version of your initial color. So in my case, almost a like salmon pink color, as well as a very soft brush like the color shifting blushes from the watercolor brush set. And you're just going to go over your piece to add a little bit of um, color variation and just fill in the parts that are still completely white. You can leave some white spots so you have like a really intense light in some part, but I think it looks really good to also just fill in some of that blank space. <laughs> you can also use your eraser and just clean out your color out a little bit. I do love leaving some of the bleeding edges so it looks a bit more watercolor-y, but sometimes it just doesn't look quite right. So as you can see here, I try to find a balance of clean edges and also edges that are bleeding out. And you can also use the arrow tool to move your color and just put it in a spot that you think looks a bit better. Once that is done, go ahead and make sure you're still on your color layer. Pick the selection tool and draw a crescent moon shape selection and feather that selection somewhere between 30 and 40%. Then from the adjustment panel, select hue saturation brightness and apply to the entire layer and just shift the hue a little bit so you get some cool color variation like you would get with um, like real life watercolor. 
This is also how we're going to create the shadow, so make sure you do lower the brightness. That's the one thing that is important. Still on the color layer, you're going to create another selection, this time just like a totally random wobbly shape all over your ornament. And again, this time you're going to feather it somewhere between 40 and 50%, and you're just going to play with the hue a little bit. And this is simply to add some color variation, um, again, so it just looks a bit more realistic. This step is totally optional, but if you have the watercolor toolbox or the watercolor brush set, go ahead and insert a file and find in the watercolor uh, toolbox or brush set uh, the splotches PNG and pick a splotch that you like. The color really doesn't matter, just pick one that you like the shape and the texture of and place it over your ornament. You're then going to access hue saturation brightness again and this time lower the saturation all the way down. And you're going to set the blending mode of this layer to color burn. And this is going to add some really super realistic watercolor texture, as you can see here. Um, but like I said, this is totally optional. But if you do have the brush set, it is a really cool thing to do. You're then going to create another layer. And this one, you're going to rename it to details. And going back to your black and your uh, pencil brush, you're just going to add a little bit more like fun elements on your um, ornament. Uh, it can be super simple. As you can see here, I'm just drawing some really wobbly horizontal lines all across my ornaments. But you can really go for any type of design you want. I mean, you could even write out a message. So at this point, go crazy, just be creative, and it's gonna look really good. Once that is done, go ahead and create a new layer below this uh, details layer and this one you're going to rename it to splatters and this is another one that is for people who have the watercolor brushes if you do go ahead and pick the color that you use for your main ornament as well as the splatter brush and just add some splatters um, again this is a step that is optional but also helps with the realistic feel of watercolor you can also go back to your color layer and with the salt brush you would be able to add some white speckles on your ornament. So there you go, that is how to create a watercolor ornament in Procreate. If you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to give it a thumbs up because it really does help the channel. And make sure to subscribe because I put out new videos every week.